Understanding your customers and really responding at their moment of need requires insight and a strategic approach to making every customer interaction matter. There are a few key topics to really, really focus on when leading revenue generating initiatives and increasing customer acquisition, expansion and retention in today's digital marketplace. Embracing the value of data is the first thing. Empowering customers, leadership and employees across the organization through really streamlined processes and automation is another. And ultimately, the third one is to provide more opportunities for sellers to really develop valuable and lasting customer relationships. We will go into all of these themes during this session and get insights from enterprise leaders and change makers that have tackled this new world of virtual selling head on and driven digital transformation throughout their businesses. We will be expanding on what Michelle talked about in her demo and really walk through on how you can leverage an accurate and complete view of your customer and really enrich this view also with third party data in order to connect your business really across all of the processes that are interfacing your customers as well as your employees. We will also discuss about how you as a business can engage the everywhere buyer by modernizing virtual selling touch points and utilize AI and automation to really enrich insight as well as also efficiency across all of the processes. We will also hear examples of how you can streamline and simplify your technology stack and thereby drive intelligence and efficiency across all of the sales, commerce and revenue generating touch points. Simplifying your sales process requires two things, the right data and the right technology. And this powerful combination leads to both better sales efficiency, but also a much deeper focus on buyer's needs. And both of these are really important in order to drive success in today's digital and very, very much changing marketplace as well. Having the right data at the seller's fingertips allows them to dedicate more time actually selling and less time sifting through meeting notes and, and utilizing spreadsheets. Data is foundational for us here at Oracle, both to empower our organization and our sales to really, really have valuable dialogues with our clients and work with them on their journey to a really strong customer experience driven business. But it's also impor important in order to really see the value of how you can develop business today. Another company that understands the power of having the right data at the right time and is committed to helping sellers sell is Aeon. Aeon is a fantastic example of how a large-scale enterprise company can take the journey towards a really collaborative virtual sales model. Let's hear from Tiffany Sadek, CIO Growth Enablement, North America IT at Aeon. Aeon is a professional services company, but we specialize in commercial risk products, health, retirement, and reinsurance products. At Aon, we are trying to transform our sales organization by unifying them onto one instance of Oracle CX. So what we did is we took our 11,000 client-facing individuals off of six instances of Salesforce and we moved them onto one instance of Oracle CX. The transparency that we have provided to our client-facing individuals globally has provided them with the ability to collaborate, which we anticipated that. What we didn't anticipate was the enormous amount of collaboration that was going to happen and the cross-selling and penetration selling that resulted. And now what we're looking to do is to automate every portion of the sales process to the point that we can take away the mundane. And I heard a, a phrase the other day, automate the mundane. We are really trying to help our salespeople by doing some of that work for them in every way that we possibly can. And it's hard to keep your CRM tool updated with contact information. We can automate a good portion of that. That's exactly what we're trying to get to, is where we can take enough of the non-value added work, if you will, off of their plate and automate as much of that as we can so that they can focus on the value added work. Now, along with that though, we are also trying to digitize some of the work that is value added but that they have to do, such as client discovery. So if there's, if there's one phrase I like to use all the time, this is what we're trying to do the right information to the right people at the right time. Because at the end of the day, we want salespeople selling. We're constantly trying to figure out how do I automate their day 
and how do I bring their CRM functionality to them wherever they are. And so again, in that roadmap, we're also looking at digital assistant. How can they interact with the CRM tool through voice? How can they make updates like with the punch of a couple buttons and, and, and a few sentences instead of having to find a computer and log on and do all those things? I think what CRM tools can do is to simplify or anyone trying to implement a CRM tool and transform their sales force is to first simplify. They can focus on what a salesperson needs to sell. I do believe we're at a crossroads, however, in, in everyone's journey. And that is because we now have data and information that we've never had before. Or we might have had it, but we couldn't tap into it as much as we can now. And we now have technology that can allow us to tap into the data, such as artificial intelligence, that can take some really interesting client and account information and can transform it into a really hot lead, which is what sales is after. So I do believe we're at a point where we've got enough good data and we've got enough great technology that we can combine these two and really hand sales those hot leads on a silver platter, which is honestly what we should all be trying to do. Such an inspiring story from Aeon about empowering your sellers with the right technology to deliver the right data and the right experience across the whole buying journey. One topic that stands out in Tiffany's story is what she's saying about automating the mundane and thereby using automation as a strategic tool to give space for dialogue and customer value in all of the different touch points. Very, very inspiring. Another approach that businesses take to personalize customer experience across different digital channels is through e-commerce. The growth of digital commerce and self-service channels are nothing new. Um, we have seen a growing trend of B2B commerce even before the pandemic, but clearly COVID-19 forced a catalytic shift in the way how business adopt digital channels and digital commerce and also embrace new ways of operating both as buyers as well as sellers. The shift has forced B2B companies to quickly adapt to these digital channels and also embrace changing expectations amongst their customer base. Customers want to engage through their channel of choice at any given time, but at the same time, the customers also wish to have in contact and connectivity to sellers, trusted advisors, whenever they need them, really embracing a hybrid model of virtual sales. To meet these new demands, enterprises need solid but also scalable platforms to help grow their business with intuitive self-service commerce capabilities that are underpinned by the same data that connects the whole business. One company that truly has championed a virtual sales model and driven a very successful digital transformation is Canon, the multinational optical, imaging and electronics manufacturer. As a long-standing ATD commerce customer for their B2C site, they saw the opportunity of leveraging Oracle Commerce Cloud for their B2B site. I had the privilege of sitting down with Stephen Casey, Digital Sales and Marketing and Transformation Leader, and Vino Tiku, Principal Digital Commerce from Canon EMEA, as they shared more about their journey and how they have empowered their sellers to sell more through digital channels and also thereby empowered their customers in this virtual sales model. Let's dive into the conversation. I'm so excited to meet Canon today and discuss more about their virtual sales transformation and also digital transformation of their company. Welcome, Vinod Tiku and Stephen Casey. Vinod, would you like to tell us a bit more about Canon? What makes you unique in the market and also about your history as well as your mission and differentiators today? Sure. Thank you so much for giving us an opportunity to talk to you guys uh, uh, about Canon. Uh, Canon, as you know, uh, it's a multinational corporation. It's been around since 1933. We are experts in optical technology. The world uh, generally knows Canon for its core product areas like print and cameras, but you'll be surprised. You know, there are so many other areas where Canon operates. You know, we are in automobile vehicles, we are in medical technology, we are in space exploration. Come to think of anywhere, wherever there is imaging technology, Canon is playing a part in, in, in some shape or form today. And what makes us unique in that sense, in Canon, we follow a philosophy called Kiyosai, 
which essentially means all people harmoniously living and working towards the future. This, this philosophy keeps us grounded. It ensures we do business in a responsible manner and are considerate to the society in which we operate. And, and from a Canon point of view, it also helps us in differentiating ourselves. You know, A, uh, we are involved in the breadth of technology from hardware to software. If you look at the patents, for example, we, we have continuously for last 35 years been in top five in terms of filing patents. Um, uh, when you compare to you know the rest of the industry, and then our exceptional quality is is what keeps us well known throughout the world in terms of a technology brand. That's fantastic! So inspiring. So in the face of this really diverse company with its such important mission, how has the traditional sales model changed? What are the strategies that Canon are taking to really keep up with the changing? role and changing model of B2B virtual sellers. Stephen, would you like to share some more of this strategy with us? Yeah, so and echo the sentiment of thank you for inviting us here. It's a really important supplier for us now, um, especially in this area. One of the things that is accepted in sales and marketing is that B2B buyers acting a little bit like consumers want to complete more of the buy buying journey themselves. They don't always want the expert on hand, but equally, sometimes they do want the expert on hand. So they want our field sales to come in knowing our products and our services and to be able to answer questions about those at the right time. So what we have to try and achieve is we have to offer a digital self-serve to our customers alongside and probably before our teams get involved. Now that's not really new. Lead generation through to a close of a sale is now more scientific and probably more sophisticated, but it's not new, is it? Um, what we're doing then with the changing role into those uh, consumers, into those B2B consumers, is looking at the channels that we have, sharing non knowledge through those channels and opening or offering to open a conversation. But you know, sometimes the customer will never want that and they'll go straight and have a meaningful, efficient, and productive sales interaction almost without any humans. And that's what we can achieve with our digital transformation. That's really exciting, really about focusing on the customers and giving them the choice to interact with you in the right way. How has the adoption of Oracle Commerce for your B2B digital channel improved or changed the operations and, and thereby also had an impact on your business? Uh, right at the end of the sales cycle, we have the actual purchase. Now, what OCC allows us to do at that end is work on that and make sure that we can reduce the effort and increase the confidence of our buyers. Um, the, the printer sitting in the corner of, if you're in the office, the office, but even uh, increasingly B2B printers in the home has actually had more thought into it, hopefully, than you might expect. And the degree of configuration and the options we offer are very diverse and it can be difficult for our customers to understand that. With OCC, we can automate a lot of those decisions, but also make our customers expert by giving them the decisions that matter at a particular time, empowering those decisions. So a lot of the uh, choices they're making to choose that particular device, they can do without the expert, or as I say, get in touch with the expert quickly if they need to. But in addition to that, it's not just that, it's not that simplification alone. We have complex interactions that are important for B2B. And for me, this is what differentiated Oracle that are out of the box. So we can have approval flows, we can have complex pricing and product and other options to do with the printer. You know, we can appear in the customer's ERP, a little like a marketplace just for that customer without doing a great deal of extra development. We're not having to write code for that. We're configuring it and switching it on. And, and really, that was one of the reasons we drove towards Oracle and we chose you as a partner in this area. That's really, really, really exciting. And it's really good to hear how the processes, as well as the interaction with the customers, are being designed and, and augmented by this marrying of technology and strategy.
You already touched upon the results that, that you are seeing, both in the context of the operations as well as also in the, in the customer interface. Stephen, would you like to elaborate more about the results that you're seeing with the digital commerce and, and how, you, how you are using that also for the future? Uh, so what we've been able to do as I said, is to massively simplify the ordering process. And what we've done is we've done that for our largest customers. So in our business, we have a group of customers called framework customers. We've agreed a certain set of products, a certain set of pricing and a certain set of configurations that meet their needs, usually as a response to tender. And that can be quite complex to understand. With Oracle and with our e-ordering platform, you can come straight to it with very little knowledge and self-serve a full purchase. And that hides something. It hides the complex back office interaction that has to happen. So when that printer is ordered, it is in many boxes. It's assembled by an engineer. It's reboxed, sent to the customer site. An engineer comes and installs it, makes sure it is right for that customer. And we support it then later. In short, although we don't go into the detail of it, it allows us to make our customers the expert. So they don't need to know what a buffer pass is. In fact, probably nobody in this room knows what a buffer pass is, but the printer will have one if it needs it. And they don't need to know before they start their journey that the image press C170, something very much like an office printer, if it's suitable because that office happens to print training booklets is the right choice for them because it's got that extra functionality. They get guided through that journey at the moment that they need to be. They come with particular needs but we're hoping they leave with the confidence that what they've chosen is the right device for them. Thank you, Stephen. You already mentioned earlier how the commerce is being exposed throughout the different interactions with the customers and thereby really empowering the customer to self-serve and being able to fulfill their purchase needs at, at any, any time in the buying journey. How are your current digital channels meeting the needs of B2B customers and how are you looking to evolve this going forward? You're right. Um, our e-ordering platform through OCC is the culmination of the buying journey when it ends in the sale. Now, it's not the end of the buying journey. It's not the end of the customer relationship. That just does form part of a wider and growing digital landscape. So just taking a step back, we use our CRM platform, not just to know about the customer, but actually to govern the authentication and access control. So when a customer comes to us, they have a single view of Canon. We use also sales enablement and marketing enablement platform for our partners, the partner portal. And that allows a synergy between Canon so that we're talking about the same things. We're giving the same message about our devices and hitting more customers with more services and more value add. We have saved sales enablement, a simple area, actually I view as a marketing channel where instead of a digital channel, we've got people who are going to deliver the message, but we deliver the message digitally to them so that they can in the best way possible, answer customer questions and get clear answers and clear message through to the customer. And then right at the start for many journeys, just from everything about finding out about our brand to finding out very specific product details, we have self-serve through the web and other marketing communications channels. So digital transformation, you know, it's never going to end. There's always going to be more to do, but we're in a fairly good position. We have a really good grounding here in Canon uh, of digital transformation. We know our customers are getting the answers. We, we want to improve that, obviously, but even if they don't want to speak to a human, we have confidence the message will be there and the information they need will be there at every step. Thank you, Stephen. That's really inspiring to hear. The digital transformation is really holistically viewed at Canon, and it's really great to hear how the brand is at center, both when you're designing front office processes, as well as also connecting to the back office and enriching the business operations. Speaking more about the business operations and the processes, we know I would like to hear more from you about the value of connecting the front office commerce application with your back office e-business suite, ERP. Absolutely. Uh, you know, with, with OCC, Oracle Commerce Cloud, what we have now is like a brand new shiny tool, which our merchandisers uh, are so happy with. It gives them much slicker operations. Their time to publish has reduced fantastically. It's, it gives a very good customer experience to our end customers, but that all of that is also just one part of the puzzle. 
the other part of the puzzle is then making the whole end to end operations uh, much more smoother and that's where integrations come into the picture and by integrating oracle commerce cloud to our erp what it does is it gives us this seamless flow of order information going from our front end systems to our back end systems it helps improve our slas with our finance accounting teams for them to get all of their processing done our erp is also connected to our supply chain so that helps us in processing our, our orders much faster meeting our slas with our customers and then in the end with all of this automation it it reduces uh, the manual intervention from a business operations point of view which at the end of it is a saving for the for the company because we have to invest less in people doing these jobs where automations are taking over that's really exciting digital automation as well as alignment of strategy and operations at its best so looking ahead then what's next for canon to look at when you adopt additional strategies and solutions to further streamline your sales process and and really refine your your strategy we know sure uh, from a from a digital point of view uh, you know occ has been a great sort of uh, addition to our overall portfolio what we are looking at uh, longer term over the next 2 to 3 years is bringing commerce mainstream to all our digital propositions and specifically from a b2b point of view have a more connected ecosystem so for now as stephen mentioned earlier we now have a framework journey integrated from a commerce point of view we want to bring our consumables journey for 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 example for paper ink and toners onto the platform as well we want to connect to our subscription management solution we want to connect to our cpq going forward we want to make sure that commerce can also integrate with other touch points whether in marketing or lead generation and stuff like that so there's a lot of work we need to do over the next 2 3 years but we want to use commerce as a key driver for for all our essentially selling journeys both b2b as well as b2c Thank you so much. It's such a joy to discuss with you today and hear more about Canon's exciting journey. Thank you so much, Stephen. Thank you, Vinod. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. As Canon's story highlights, customers want a brand that they can trust to deliver the right products and the right service when and where they decide to make that purchase. Therefore, businesses must now maintain a strong brand reputation and customer relationship to drive this positive customer experience and thereby also driving recurring revenue. This is a key theme in all the examples we have heard today. And the value of providing this strong brand experience and tailoring this interaction to be relevant and personalized across your sales organization and beyond. Customers expect one cohesive experience with tailored content that matches their purchase history, but also their current needs. By having a complete and unified view of your customers and their business, you can optimize a subscription business model and use churn probability predictors to improve the retention rates. Oracle subscription management can unlock new revenue opportunities and extend the customer lifetime value far beyond the single purchase. At Oracle, we are on a mission to maximize sales organization's productivity, which directly maximizes revenue. And today we have discussed how Oracle sales can help sellers sell more with a unified approach through business solutions. How data-centric solutions from start to finish with AI automation and an intuitive UI can enable you to sell faster and with more accuracy. And how you can extend your sales models to reach digital buyers from digital commerce to recurring revenue with subscription management. Thank you for being with us today.